I'm really excited to present you this video. Today I'm sharing with you my strategy to control high blood pressure and unclog your arteries the easy way. Believe it or not, high blood pressure can be lowered quickly, just avoiding no more than three very dangerous and very unhealthy things. Watch this video so I can show you what they are. Hello, how are your kidneys doing? This is Catherine, welcome to WO Kidney. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tap the notification bell. Every time I see one of these videos on YouTube about how to lower high blood pressure or one of those hypertension diets, I always end up with the same conclusion. You really can't eat anything if you have high blood pressure. But I'm sure there is a better way. Today I'll show you a much better way in fact. There are just very few things you actually need to control to never have to worry about your blood pressure again. And this is important because only in the US, 75 million people are suffering from high blood pressure and a lot of them are on medications. Some people may take two or three different medications every single day just for hypertension. Each one of those medications has a very long list of side effects. The problem with taking two or three of them is that these sides are not just doubled or tripled. No, when you take two or three medications per day, the sides will multiply. I'm not joking, these side effects can be frightening. So if you know someone on hypertension medications, share this video with them, send this on Facebook or via the share button, do them a favor. Now, I'm not telling you that you are going to be off blood pressure medications just following this guide, but I've seen people being able to stop needing them because the right way of eating and a couple of good habits can do wonders to control our blood pressure. Let's see what they are. First thing to avoid if you want to drop blood pressure is stress. In a stressful situation, your body is bound to produce a surge of hormones, your vessels will narrow, you start to feeling shortness of breath, and your heart starts to beat faster. Blood pressure skyrockets. Now, for a lot of people, just thinking about something stressful like for example a traffic jam or having to wait to board a plane or for an important news can make you feel like this. So basically, how do you avoid stress if just thinking about it can make your blood pressure increase? How do you avoid all the stress your daily routine causes you? Okay, don't worry, there's an easy solution. You don't need to avoid stress altogether, that will be impossible. You just need an healthy way to get rid of it, like physical exercise for example. This brings us to the second thing to avoid in order to lower high blood pressure, lack of physical activity. Talking about this always makes a lot of people mad, yet I have to insist on this one. Proper physical activity is a stress buster, greatly reduces high blood pressure, fights kidney disease, reduces risk of heart attack, manages body weight, lowers cholesterol and has many, many other benefits. So now people usually ask. How can I exercise if I have this condition or that condition that prevents me from going to the gym, from running, from playing sports, etc? Well, you don't have to go to the gym and lift tons of weight and you don't have to start preparing to run a marathon. You just have to do some exercise every day, whatever you can. Talk with your doctor and find something you can actually do and that you like. Or just start walking every day until you can do something more fun. Because that's the best way to remove all the stress you've been building up during the day. Yes, that's it. Exercise lowers stress and high blood pressure. Physical activity also stimulates the body's production of endorphins. This substance will not just make you feel good, will not just produce positive changes in your mood and in your overall health, but it's also the greatest stress reliever known by mankind. 
It will also improve your sleep and bad sleeping patterns is one of the worst thing you can do to your blood pressure and your health. So exercise regularly. Okay, here's the last thing you need to avoid. A bad way of eating. A lot of doctors just tell their patients to just stop eating salt. Everything you eat should taste like cardboard. If it has some flavor, it's not good for you. This is what they're saying. I'm not joking. Now, while reducing salt can definitely help, unfortunately, this approach only works to an extent. In fact, a lot of people on this no-salt diet still have to take blood pressure medications. This is because there is more to take into account into our way of eating than just sodium. There's insulin. High insulin levels are correlated to high blood pressure and inflammation. These three conditions together, high blood pressure, high insulin and inflammation, are bound to create a lot of damage. And we have to work on insulin levels if you want to lower high blood pressure. So, how do we keep insulin under control? Avoiding eating too much sugary foods. Okay, this may seem like a lot to do, but for a lot of people, just removing all junk foods from the diet is enough to dramatically lower their blood pressure. And eat a lot more fruits and vegetables. Eating more vegetables will make you feel full, so you will feel less the need for snacks and junk foods in general. Also fruits and vegetables are rich in vitamins, minerals and phytochemicals, really useful to fight the inflammation and high insulin levels. Want to know on what food to load on to get the best results? Watch my video about the 4 superfoods that are proven to lower blood pressure. These foods are really great for your health. This is all for today. If you like this video, please like and share this video with your friends. Subscribe and tap the notification bell if you want to be notified for the next video. Every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Thank you for watching.